welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam's High Handmade Crochet. So let's get started. So today we're going to work on the Trinity stitch and you can use any size hook or yarn that you want. It's kind of like the star stitch except we're going to add some single crochets to it. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to start off with an even number of chains. I'm going to do 20 chains. And for my beginners, if you don't know how to crochet or make your slip knot or chain, you can always go to my Absolute Beginners tutorial where I show you how to make the uh, normal stitches, the regular stitches that are required to crochet. And it also has abbreviations just in case you want to learn how to read a pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and make my 20 chains and for my beginners to make a chain you just take your, your uh, the loop on your hook does not count and yarn over which means to grab your yarn uh, with your hook and pull through and that will give you a chain and we're going to make 20 of those chains. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. So I have my 20 chains here. I am going to skip two, I mean skip one chain and go in with a and go into the back of my stitch with a single crochet. I'm going to start off with a row of single crochets. If you are um, one of my regular subscribers, you know that I always start off with a foundation unless um, the pattern calls for it. So go ahead and put one single crochet into each of your single crochets. Now you don't have to go into this back loop here like I am. You can just do it the normal way and go through the front if you want to. So for my beginners, if you want to, you can go through the front here instead of going into the back like I'm doing here. But I'm going to make my 19 single crochets and I'll be back. So I have my 19 single crochets here. Go ahead and chain one. I've already done that. Sorry. Go ahead and chain one and turn your work. In your first stitch, you're going to go ahead and put a single crochet into that stitch, into your first stitch, and then go back into that loop. Now we're going to single crochet three together, right? So go into the first stitch and pull up a loop. Do not yarn over again. Then go into your second loop and pull up a loop. That's three loops on your hook. Go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. That gives you four. Yarn over and pull through. Now when you make your chain, you want to make it nice and loose. So pull your loop up just a little bit and then go ahead and chain. Now just repeat that again, go right into that same stitch where you made that last stitch and go in and pull up a loop. That's two loops on your hook. Go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And pulling up a loop for my beginners just means to grab your yarn and pull it through that loop. Now do the next one again. That's the last time. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. You're going to keep that loop a little high because we have to go back into that loop and you don't want it to be too tight. So go ahead and pull through. And now just do that again all the way across. That's one. Remember to go back into that same stitch. Even when you finish, when you finish, go back into the same stitch and into the next one and pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four. And remember, make that loop nice and high so you can make it nice and loose. Okay? So just keep repeating that all the way across. If you need to, you can go ahead and slow this down. There is an option in the settings where you can slow it down. What I'm going to try to go a little slower. So once you make that chain one, Go into, back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Go into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then your third one, yarn over and pull up a loop. And pull through all of your loops. 
nice look uh, nice loose hook loop and then chain and then just keep doing that all the way across and I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the end because we have to do something different at the end I'll be back so I'm close to the end and this is what we have so far so now I have two more stitches left so I'm going to do what I did before. Remember, go into the back into that same loop where you made your last loop. Go into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop. Into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull all the way through. And now instead of chaining, we're not going to chain like we did on the other side. We're going to go to single crochet just like we did in the first stitch. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now you want to chain one and turn your work and just do that again. Just repeat what you did before. Put a single crochet into the first stitch. Go back into that same stitch where you put that single crochet and pull up a loop. Go into the next one and pull up a loop. And now right on top of that stitch, that uh, Trinity stitch from the previous row, you're going to go ahead and right in the top of it, right in top of that stitch where you made your chain one you're going to go right in there and pull up a loop and then pull through all four of your loops and remember make that loop nice and high so you can get that hook through there again and you just repeat that all the way across there's another stitch there and then right on top of that stitch from the previous row and pull through and chain one. So the only time you're really chaining is in between your trinity, in between the stitches. In the beginning and the end, you do not chain. When you get to the end, you make before you make that when you get to the end and make that last stitch, do not chain because you want to go back into that stitch with a single crochet. So keep making your stitches going across, go back into that last stitch that you did from before. And just keep making those loops across. Make sure your loop is nice and high. So when I come back, I'm going to be right at the end. Well, actually, I'm going to have a bigger swatch. I'm hoping that you have it at least by now. But this is what she looks like. When it's nice and close, it's a very nice textured stitch that you can use for a blanket or a scarf. But as I always say, use it for whatever you want as long as it's going to look cute. So when I come back, I'm going to have a bigger swatch of my Trinity stitch. Be right back. So this is our Trinity stitch. Um, as I said, it kind of looks like the star stitch. It's the same method, the same steps, except with some single crochets. And you don't have to muck about with all that um, yarning over and pulling through and pulling up a loop 50 times. It's just a really simple, quick, easy stitch to make. Again, great for blankets or a scarf and whatever else you want to. So I want to... Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.